Hello guys, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, today po guys, a uh, uh, video regarding machine design. So here I want to show you some example problem regarding for machine foundation uh, topics. So as you can see here guys, uh, we have here a problem uh, foundation has a weight of equal to four times the weight of the engine. The soil, the soil bearing cup pressure is 65 kilopascal and has a foundation base dimension of 1.8 meter width by 3.5 meters length. Calculate the maximum weight of the engine. So guys, if you see the problem, uh, the requirement for this uh, example is the, the maximum weight of the engine. How much or how much the maximum weight of the engine? So again, by checking the problem, we have heard the given. Uh, P is the bearing pressure of the soil, which is given uh, 65 kPa or 65 kilopascal. So you can see here. And area of the foundation is 1.8 meters width by 3.5 meters length. So, knowing these parameters, um, we can solve the uh, maximum weight of the engine. Okay. So, I will show you first the uh, some schematic diagram of the Ma machine foundation okay. as you can see here guys this upper portion is the uh, engine and this lower part is the foundation or concrete foundation and beneath this foundation is the s s soil okay so all the weight all the weight of the engine and the foundation are uh, going down and there is a reaction force between these two between the soil and the foundation uh, going up FR meaning WA is the weight of the engine WF is the weight of the foundation and FR is the reaction force reaction force okay so to solve this problem since the requirement is how much is the or how much the maximum weight of the engine to be mounted uh, Supposedly, so again, um, solving first, okay, solving first the reaction forces. As we all know, as we studied before, pressure, the general equation for pressure is equal to force over area. So by re rearranging, force will be equal to pressure times the area. Okay, so by substituting the given values, the soil bearing pressure of the soil is the soil bearing pressure is 65 kilonewton per meter squared or 65 kPa, 65 kilopascal, or meaning 65 kilonewton per square meter times the area of the foundation, which is 1.8 meters by 3.5 meters. Okay, so cancel these units square meter so the remaining units will be kilonewton so the reaction force beneath the foundation the engine is 409.5 kilonewtons okay now we have already the reaction force now to solve further uh, as we all know since it is a, uh, static so we can apply the equilibrium theorem Okay, you know uh, we studied before for engineering mechanics for the equilibrium theorems. So summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. Okay, as you can see here, guys, summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. So what are the forces going down? So there are two forces uh, going down, which is the weight of the engine plus the weight of the foundation is equal to zero. So the reaction force is the, uh, the, the, uh, the reaction force is the, the FR. Okay, so we go back to here. The solution. 
summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. So what are the forces uh, vertical? Weight of the engine plus weight of the foundation is equal to the reaction force. Okay. So going back to the problem, uh, it was mentioned here that the weight of the foundation, the foundation has a weight equal to four times the weight of the engine so meaning to say meaning to say weight of the foundation is equal to four times the weight of the engine okay so by substituting the the expression copy weight of the engine plus since the weight of the foundation is four times so that's why we have shown here four times the weight of the engine that is equivalent to the foundation is equal to the reaction force so by simply so by simplifying further with this expression weight of the engine plus four times the weight of the engine is equal to five times weight of the engine okay five times the weight of the engine is equal to the reaction force which is already calculated the above which is 409.5 kilonewton Okay, divided by 5, divided by 5, so this 5 will be cancelled. So the weight of the engine will be the quotient of this expression, which is equal to 81.9 kilonewton. But actually, what we are uh, practicing uh, regarding the weight of the engine, uh, we want to know in terms of kilograms. So we can convert this 81.9 kN into kilograms by dividing uh, 0 0.00981. So the result or the conversion factor for this kN into kilograms is 8348.6 kilograms, which is the same as 81.9 kN. So the maximum weight of the engine to be mounted on the foundation is 8300. 48.6 kilograms okay since uh, since the weight of the engine is already uh, calculated so in actual practice uh, they can ask the manufacturer of the engine um, how much weight or in terms of kilogram how much uh, total weight of the machine to be mounted so I hope you understand our example problem regarding machine foundations okay and actually it is applicable in practice if you are working in the field or in some construction company uh, this problem is sometimes uh, useful for engineers or junior engineers who are practicing machine foundations for their certain projects so this is the example problem what we have encountered in an, in the field in actual practice sometimes we need to compute or we need to find the maximum weight of the engine to be mounted given some parameters sometimes we assume that the base of the base dimensions of the foundation uh, shall be provided and then we will ask the manufacturer what is the uh, bid plate of the uh, engine or the machinery usually if we purchase some engine or the, the like genset or generator uh, the manufacturer will be provided some catalogs they will show some catalogs to the contractor or what regarding the dimension of the bed plate so once they have already uh, calculated the power requirement so manufacturer will provide some dimension data which will be required for making concrete foundations the size of the bed plate will be provided in the catalog the length of the base and the width of the base of the bed plate of the engine is already shown in the catalog so weight of the engine they have already provided in the catalog 
weight of the engine in how many kilograms so in actual in actual practice uh, we want to know the parameters from the manufacturer of the general uh, genset or uh, generator how much how much is the weight of the machine how much is the weight of the engine in terms of kilograms and what is the dimension uh, dimension of the bed plate or base of the machine of the, of the engine so knowing those parameter we can design the foundation concrete foundation uh, especially the depth because we have already known the width and the length so what we are designing is the depth depth of the concrete foundation the purpose of the concrete foundation why all the machinery or all the heavy machinery engine should be placed should be mounted in the concrete foundation is to to absorb the vibration the main one of the main purpose why we need to put the engine in the concrete foundation is to absorb the vibration or to minimize the vibration so that's why some engineers are designing concrete foundation based on the manufacturer uh, parang aditas uh, pa provided so again guys uh, i hope you understand for this example and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share para mas marami pa tayong future videos na ma easy share sa inyo lalo na sa mga students who are studying uh, engineering in college or maybe some engineers who are practicing in the field for uh, designing concrete foundation for uh, engine so again uh, there will be more example problems or engineering facts i will be shown in the next video so again thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day